for stopping by the Marita Minutes. Before I get started, I'd like to say that everything on my channel is alleged and in my opinion and done for entertainment purposes only. If you are new here, welcome. To all my new subscribers, thank you for joining me on my journey. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is free. Now let's get into it. Okay, I'm just going to be real quick. I wanted to give my two cents on Candace Dillard and Robin uh, Dixon um, leaving the Real Housewives of Potomac. First, I want to say I'm happy for Candace if this is what she really truly wanted. It was time for her to move on. I do remember she gave herself a five-year time frame, and then she was going to move on. She actually stayed an extra year. But it's time for her to move. She felt like they were pushing her out. She had been saying that. She didn't feel good about taping or anything like that. And... Once they came for her husband, I don't know where Giselle thought she was going to go with that. Like, you're not going to just make up a storyline just so you can have something to talk about. I feel like Giselle crossed the line last season. And then when Candace got her straight and didn't care about her feelings, then all of a sudden she didn't like Candace anymore. It's like, mm, this isn't about mean girls, okay? And you're recruiting in who you want to be in your group. But that's how Giselle seems to to me, in my opinion, operates. So I'm happy for Candace. Yes, let them miserable housewives or whatever be miserable because none of them have anything going on. Candace has a lot going on right now. She has a lot of things in the fire. She's an actress. She's a songstress. She has her, you know, Deep Space album. And she, you know, that's her love. She loves to sing. And I don't know if any of the rest of the women on that show are that talented, really. I mean, what else can they fall back on but housewives, okay? Um, Karen does have the Herladom stuff, but, I mean, how well is that doing? I don't know. I guess it's doing something. She has candles and perfume. Um, Mia had a candle, but I don't know. if it, I think it was a joke, wasn't it? I don't know. What does Mia have going on? Nothing. She running around with her soulmate. Um, and her, her relationship is all in shambles and I don't know, Wendy, her and Eddie opened up their little, uh, medicinal store. Right. Um, and I think she's working on like a YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, okay. YouTube channel. Um, I mean, but Wendy's talented. I mean, she could go back on CNN or MSNBC or wherever to do her commentary. I mean, she can. She has degrees four, I remember four all back on, so she's good. Um, Robin, what does she have? Nothing now, because you know Juan doesn't have a job, and now neither does she. But she did open up a, a store or whatever her facial store. What I don't know what what is that gold? I don't know what she opened up. Something that she 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 patronizes. So hopefully that works out well for her. And then she still has the podcast with her and Giselle. Um, what does Giselle have? She has the podcast with Robin and that cheesy line that her and Ashley threw together. And that's what I'm and that's, and that's what it looked like. It was thrown to get thrown together. Talk and Ashley came online talking about how they have to, um, they still have a lot to, to go back and do and things like that. They don't have a website. They don't, what launch was that? That was, that was some, that was, that was like she by Sheree's first fashion show. Fashion show with no fashions. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm happy for Candace. As far as Robin, it was long overdue. She's never had a storyline except for the first year. I want to say Ashley brought it to our attention. I want to say it was the first or second year. I want to say she talked about how broke Robin and them were. This is when I guess when she first lost their money. And she talked about how much money Robin had in the bank. Okay. 
and how Juan was running around and had girlfriends. Juan been running around on her for years. The whole eight seasons, he's been running around on her, allegedly. And, and Ashley brought it to the forefront. So why she married him again, I do not know. Hopefully it would, that was a that was a uh that was fake and she can tell him to kick rocks for real because he don't want her and she uh, wants him to be around for the boys. Great. He could be around for the boys, but he don't need to be in that bad house. Her house, I can honestly give her credit is whoever decorated it inside did a great job. I love her house inside. I really do. I like that. But that's all she got going for is the podcast and her new business that she just recently, um, I guess, stood up or whatever. So they're miserable. They're miserable. And Candace, go ahead, do your thing, girl. Have your baby or babies or whatever. I wish you well. And if you decide to come back and you want to come back, you can. I mean, you left on a good note. I feel like you left on a good note. That's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. I think you left on a good note. As far as Robin, like I said, she was long overdue. And uh, she was only holding on on the strength of probably Giselle being her friend. She should have just been a friend of the show. She should have never been one of the housewives. Anywho. Well, that's all I have, everyone. And I tried to do it in my read a minute. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Everyone be blessed. Peace.